Back by popular demand, some flea market hunting. I'm about to hit people. How you doing? Good, you? <laughs> doing all right. I've been asked uh, by a few people to do some more of these uh, swap meet flea market hauls. Hopefully today's a good day. Hopefully we find some really good stuff. I'm excited. People around me are excited. Look at that guy. That guy bought a computer. Let's have some fun, yeah? This looks like a mess. I think I like it when it's a mess. Yeah. Is this Abel Lemus? Uh oh. Might have to get it just for the name. Sometimes I come out with so much stuff that I can sell for like a thousand dollars, and other days I come up with nothing. Check out those machines. Man, I used to have a bunch of just old broken down computers. I used to like messing with them, fixing them up, swapping parts. Not anymore. Fifteen. Look how full these trucks are. They're not even. How does that stuff not fall out while you're driving? How do your tires even hold up? That's cool. What is this? What is this? Nothing cool. What is this thing? How's it going? Look at this. What is this? That is amazing. Just sit on the water in one of those things? Okay, real quick. Look who I found. This girl is on almost so many different advertisements. I was just telling my girl, I saw her on a billboard. And I said she's everywhere. She's been in TV shows as an ad, not as an actual actress, but she was in an ad on a TV show. Those walking sticks? Yeah. Huh. Fifteen. Looks like a tornado just showed up. Tornado? <laughs> All this stuff over here, just everywhere? You think this is 4K? I think there's one in a box somewhere too. Ooh, what's this? I stole the little statue guy, Hawaiian guy, made out of wood a while back. Yeah, it's a Huh. All right, let's figure out what this thing is. Look at this. It's like a chess harness. Ah. You put a camera right here. Look at this thing. You can put a camera right there and put it just like that. Found some books. Let's take a look here. Let's see if we can make some money today. Ooh. Today was a decent day over at the Qualcomm Swap Meet Dash Flea Market. The first thing that I picked up made me pretty excited. Boom, first pickup. It's called Blacked Out Through Whitewash. Not exactly sure what it is. I didn't read the summary. But anyway, first thing I picked up took a few minutes. I think I got it for, I think it was three bucks. I'm gonna end up selling it for about $30, which is pretty nice. It's always nice to get one, the first item very quick. Cause, well, I like coming out here cause I enjoy it. Walking around, getting out of the house, doing some stuff, talking to people, which is great. But then also on top of that, boom. 
get a nice little profit for doing it. Ooh, nice. Technical difficulties. I'm gonna pass on that one. <laughs> Wonder what this book's about. Good price, but there's no rank. Pass on that one. I'll just take one. Perfect. Check that out. Very nice. Got to do a little bit more research. It says volume one of seven. Hopefully online is just one. Perfect. 30 bucks. Paid, what do I say, three bucks? Just made a little bit of a profit today. Sweet. Some more books here and i guess i'm gonna hold out on this one it's probably tons of these let's see here it's only five dollars might just get that for myself work on my spanish a little bit let's take a look at this guy come on come on come on oh nope not good look at this for myself though we'll see how much on the books how about this one three bucks three dollars Second item of the day. I got another book. I've been doing a lot of books lately. I had some, I took some video, it's about maybe a week or two ago, something like that, where I came out and I, I bought a bunch of books from one vendor. I forgot what the actual total ended up being. I think on the video I said like 800 bucks profit. It's probably more around like 500, but still a good amount of money. So sometimes every now and then I've, I've got a bunch of videos where it just turns out to be book day. And that day was book day. You should check it out. I got a, I got a video where I got like over a thousand dollars worth of books. If I remember, I'll link it. I got this book. This isn't, this isn't going for a whole lot of money, but I bought it just for me. Sometimes I'll do that. I mean, that's part of the whole thing of swapping, get stuff for yourself. I don't like doing it because my house ends up getting full of stuff. Doesn't matter. This is cool. I like it. Got a bunch of verbs. Shit, I might just get it for myself. Screw it. Deal take it, my friend. Got a lot of other books coming out. Sure. There you go. All right. Thanks, man. Perfect. Thank you. Change. What's that? I said thanks for that. Oh, change. you got it. <laughs> People give me like a twenty dollar bill, a fifty. <laughs> yeah, I might have to come back later. Looks like you got a lot of work there. A lot of work ahead. Excuse me, boss. <laughs> Thank you. No. Gracias. Is that a verb? No. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, man. We got a bunch of video games. The video game market right now is just, I mean, for selling it's pretty good, but for buying, I just can't seem to find, can't really seem to find them like I, I used to. I think that's what something everyone says. Not like the good old days, but I really can't seem to find these games. What we got here? Huh. What kind of, ooh, what's this here? <laughs> movie, oh, that movie was terrible. I keep finding stuff over here though. That's cool. All right, what do we got? Look at these things, look at these things. Wait, what is this, a DJ or is it DJ board? Is to make long distance phone calls? I'm not sure. $8, that's good. That's a Seiko. That's a Seiko watch. It's not a cheap watch. That's Seiko. It's not a cheap watch. Tito. What up? What's up, my man? What How we doing? Yeah, it's on this time. Too, yeah. It recorded this time, man. Yeah, I got you. It's one of the stops I like to make when I come here on Wednesdays. I'm going to get one of these bad boys. Can I have a mango, please? Yeah, with Chile on it would be great. There you go. Thank you. All right. First order of business. Add a little more chamois on this guy. 
Look at that. And then second order. Can't wait. This stuff looks nice and ripe. Yes. Can I have net? Thank you so much. You read my mind. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I got like a 50 50 on these mangoes. Usually, what happens is sometimes I'll get the, the ones that aren't ripe and I'll bite into it and it'll sound just like a carrot. That's how hard they are. But these look nice and soft. Mmm. Mmm. This is a good one. I looked out today. What are these for? Are for the Amiga? Look at that. They're totally complete and they're practically mint. I know because I bought them 30 years ago. Oh, I got you. How much are these games? Those I'm asking 35 each on. 35. They've got everything. They even have Amiga. the original um, phone. That came with it. Take a look at these. I can What's take up? care of my stuff. I'll try and take care of it just as well as you here. Let's see. It's got the map, the disc. Oh, wow, yeah. That's cool. That one's actually the rarest of all the Koei. Oh, is it? Yeah. I haven't seen a truck like that in a while. Benta King. And. Oh, here's no Banaga. No Banaga is an addition. He almost unified Japan um, in the 15th century. That was based on a true yeah. person, a huh? true yeah. story. The Koei games have a good. That's cool. Yeah, uh, 35 uh, each. Oh, we got some Atari games. That's nice. Oh, almost fell. Let's see what we got. It's kind of hard to find an expensive Atari game. Let's get this on camera here. So, Street Racer. Here's one of my favorite games on Atari. It's a really awesome two-player game. I don't think you can play the computer on this, but this is it's hours of fun. Can't say the same for a lot of these other games. <laughs> Spider-Man, I'm not sure if that's any good. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's heard of this one. It's reportedly one of the worst games in Atari. It's, I don't think it is. I think there's worse. It just has the infamy of it. This is, this is Spider Fighter. I don't think I know that one. Looks like it's a good clone of Asteroids. No, Space Invader clone. Hmm. Uh, there's one of these is actually going for good amount of money. Check this out. Original Xbox in the box. This motherfucker's heavy. It's a brick. That's cool. <sighs> Too big for me to deal with. Any small stuff. Oh, look at that. Xbox 360 in the box. Nice. Still pass. Hi, Abel. How, How are you doing? You? Doing all right. How you doing? Good. Where's your girlfriend? Not here today. Look at this thing. These are always cool. It's like a travel clock. Keep that in your purse. I don't know why you would need something like this. This is just a cool style. Found the Mexican candy. I probably shouldn't have. Now I'm gonna make a nice little pile. Oh my god, these guys. These guys are so good. Tamarindo, I think it's tamarind. Look at that. Getting to them. Now, for the very last thing, I was on my way up. That's how that's that's how all the best stories start. Like I was leaving the party, or I was I was on out. The last thing I was gonna do was gonna check this just one little corner. I was gonna, I was just gonna go ahead and just. I was walking out of the store, then I bought the lottery ticket. Anyway, I was walking out. I saw a guy who I bought the Spanish 
booked from. He said, hey, you know, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna bring some more some more stuff out. I was like, all right, I'll probably come back later. It's probably like at least 20, 30 minutes later, maybe even longer. I circled back around. He had a bunch of cool PC games, some you know console games too, some cool computer games. These look nice. Zork. I've had this a few times. What's this? So I circled back around. I was on my way out. <laughs> and I stopped at his thing and then I was looking through some stuff and he actually, I was looking through the games and then he showed me this. Look at this thing. <laughs> this looks amazing. It's a flight simulator, but for the Macintosh. No barcode, huh? Look how old that looks. Look at that. It is, it's called Voyager 2, the Dynamic Sky Simulator for Macintosh. And it's still sealed. I always worry about these old plastic covers because you never know. I've actually run across a video game where a gentleman was selling. It was a, I think it was a GameCube game. Yeah, I think it was Mario Kart Double Dash. Anyway, it was sealed. And I looked at it and I was like, something's wrong with this. And I looked at the plastic that was sealed and I would then start remembering, wait a minute, I've seen how they're supposed to be sealed and this wasn't it, right? It had this stuff on the bottom of it. I was like, I don't think this is, I don't think this is new. He goes, oh, okay, he just grabbed it and he put it back in his van. Didn't have any questions. It looked like he just accepted it and put it away, waited, maybe waiting for me to leave and then he'll put it out again. Anyway, maybe he sealed it, maybe no someone who did. Or maybe I was wrong. But anyway, so I think this is a, a legitimate seal. Pretty sure. So I think this is a new, well, by new meaning sealed, game it's a little dented maybe there's graphics on it that's cool anyway these are kind of stuff this is the kind of stuff that i really enjoy when i come out here finding these old vintage new kind of games oh, anyway the reason this is the the biggest find of the day is that i was looking it up online i was doing, just doing a quick search i think i i think i was gonna buy it anyway i think i was good i looked at it and i was like i'm probably gonna buy that depending on the price and so i kind of looked it up on ebay i didn't really do a good search just real, real quick it didn't show up couldn't find it screw it if he says a good price i'm gonna buy it and he said five bucks i'm like I'm, I'm just gonna buy it and then i was looking around through some other things and he finds it on on his phone first he looked up on amazon and it was like it was none for sale and there's no picture on it it's like ah, it could be anything someone could just made up some stuff but then he looked it up on ebay and he showed me and i think what i saw was a person had an asking price of 150 bucks you found one on ebay yeah a lot of money <laughs> no is it really? 150. That's how much they're asking? That's is it the same asking. one? Same one. Oh, it is the same one. Yeah. All right. Here you go, my man. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's still five bucks, dude. Are you sure? Yeah, dude. I don't eBay these things. Okay. All right. Sounds good to me, then. I'll take it. But I do appreciate you doing that. All right. Most people will be like, oh, you said. You yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. Thanks, boss. Appreciate yeah, it. My name's Abel, by the way. Abel? Yeah. Eric. Eric. Yeah, nice to meet you. All right. Thank you so much. If you make some money, we all win, right? We all do something, right? <laughs> I right, appreciate it, man. I'll catch you next time. Okay, Abel. So this is the this is the the find of the day purchase of the day right here now i need to do some more research i didn't look into it probably should have done it before i started recording but even if it's even if it's close even if it is 30 bucks it's awesome one make a little bit of money on it which is cool but two i just like i like finding this stuff so it, keep, so it keeps me going and that's it that was actually the last find of the day these swap meets on wednesday at qual i keep getting it wrong qualcomm keep calling it Qualcomm. they're not the best it's on a wednesday and it's later in the day not a whole lot of sellers the good sellers by good i mean the people that i'm looking for like the garage sellers don't usually come out to this one usually the good stuff is either on the weekend at the swap meets or even better at the garage sale oh i want to get out to one of these garage sales hopefully i do anyway that is it if you like this content please subscribe hit the thumbs up let me know in the comments because I've been I, I got a lot of videos where I'm doing hauls, swap meet hauls, and they didn't get a whole lot of traction. But I've been recently getting some people to ask me to do it, so I'm doing it. If you guys really like it, maybe I'll do more. Anyway, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Catch you guys next time. Look at this guy. Teddy Ruxpin. 1980, 1985. <laughs> Playing Fats Domino. Amazing. <laughs>